Brazil probably goes down as the most extraordinary match of the season, doesn't it? Of course, yeah. Like I said, scoring four at home and not, not getting anything, we're a bit disappointed with that, but I'm sure it was a, it was a good game for the neutral to watch. And um, yeah, from a defensive point of view, hopefully we can uh, concede a few less than that. So you're both up there now, both in, in excellent form. Sheffield United going to the game on, on the back of a win at Reading. Place this game in, in context then with 12 or 13 games left in the running. Well, it's, it's obviously vital that we keep picking up points, uh, even more so the teams around us. Um, it's not going to be the be-all and end-all, though. There'll be, um, what, 11 games left for us to play after this. So, um, yeah, it's not going to be uh, determined where we finish in the in the league, but um, it's certainly going to go a long way maybe to, to helping us get back in those playoffs. Mm. It possibly does, though, have the, the six-pointer. I realise fans and media will look at the fixture list and go, well, of the sides that are currently up there, You've got Fulham and then Bristol on the last day of the season. The rest of the teams are much lower in the table. It, it's a big opportunity. Of course, yeah. And, and every game is going to be a big opportunity for us. There's, there's obviously a lot of points still to play for and, and Fulham possibly could be the toughest team we've got left to play. Um, but we're still going to go there and hopefully try and get the win. Mm-hmm.